Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. In this video, we will know how to create a virtual machine through GCB console and how to create another virtual machine, but this time with using gcloud command line. Then we will try to deploy a web server to our virtual machine, like in Genix web server. So let's get started. First of all, if you, if you need to access Google Cloud Platform, try to search with Google Cloud. Then choose the first link and make sure you are signing with your email account. If it is your first time to log in to Google Cloud, you can get free $300 to work with Google Cloud Platform products. Just click on console and it will automatically say that you, you have a free trial with $300. Uh, by pressing activate, it will go through two steps. The first one, it choose your country and the second one, fill in your personal data. Then you have $300 to work with Google Cloud Platform account. But for me, I'm using uh, Quick Labs as I said before. So. Uh, first of all, let's activate our Cloud Shell. And just a reminder, Cloud Shell is a virtual machine that is loaded with development tools. It offers a persistent 5 GB home directory and run on Google Cloud Platform. Google Cloud Shell provides command line tools, access to your GCB resources. Okay, to activate our Cloud Shell, just click on Activate Cloud Shell and it will take a moment. Okay, to list the active account name of our project, we can run this command gcloud auth list. And as you can see, our account name, this is our account name. To list the project ID of the account, we can write this command gcloud config list project. And as we said before, gcloud is a common line tool for Google Cloud Platform. It comes pre-installed in Google Cloud Shell and support tab completion. And click on enter. And this is our project ID. Okay, so in this video, we will try to create a virtual machine and this uh, virtual machine in Compute Engine. Select Compute Engine, then choose VM in instances. And you will find yourself in you about having about to then click on create and you have to fill this form to create your virtual machine but first of all we can find this we we write our name and region and zoom so what is the difference between region and zoom let's go to google cloud documentation and choose documentations then search for region and zoom so compute engine resources are hosted in multiple locations worldwide these locations are composed of of regions and zones a region is a specific geographical location where you can host your resources. Each region has one or more zone. Most of regions have three or more zones. For example, US West region donates a region on the west coast of the United States that have three zones, US West A, and B, and C. So region is a, a big place and zone inside the region. Okay, let's back to our creating virtual machine. First of all, let's name the virtual machine. Let's say name it Edionix. Then select our region. Our region is inside our our zone is inside our region. So let's first choose the region and let it let us leave it as default. Then select our zone. I will select C. So, for the machine type, I will choose 
N1 standard 2 with two vCPUs with 7.5 gigabyte of memory. I will leave it as default. I will get 10 gigabyte standard processing disk for my virtual machine. Then a check allow HTTP traffic. This automatically create firewall rule to allow HTTP traffic on port 80. Then click on create. So it will take about a couple of minutes to create our first virtual machine. Once done, you will see a check mark with uh, green. Yeah, as you can see, so we are created our first virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also, check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.